So we have been in the RV for three years and we're going to give you an update to show you how it is three years later. The RV has actually held up pretty well in these three years. Um, no new major problems since our last video, so we'll link that down below on the, on the issues we've had and we saw in the, within the first you know, few months of it. So the cabinets here, you know, same state as they were before, um, you know, with some little issues, but Airstream never fixed it. Dining table has held up pretty well with the conversions between, we do convert it consistently into a bed. So Velcro and all that has held up pretty well. All the windows, everything's pretty good. No leaks, no um, like major appliance issues. Uh, the TV works, the refrigerator does take a few hours, maybe like about 12 hours to cool. So it's been on for, for more than a day and it's freezing in there, so it's good. The refrigerator's good. This hood is good. The oven, we rarely use it, but it works. The sink, we had an issue where it was like rusting or a little rust around here. They fixed that at the dealer and it's been holding up and it's been a couple, been a couple years since that happened or at least over a year since that happened. And the bathroom has actually held up pretty well. You know, sink works. This sink never had any rust issues, so it's always been good. Um, what we do use most of the time, right, the shower. Um, this shower door sweep. Yeah, um, this is still... This is something that's always been an issue, and the dealer basically told us for us to buy a bunch of them and replace them every once in a while. We have noticed after about maybe the fifth, fourth or fifth trip, it starts ripping so it only it holds up maybe you know only only a few days maybe 20 days then it starts so it depends how, how often you use your airstream shower is always a good size we like always kept the original shower head the shower is a good size has that seat so never had an issue with the shower the water heater issue we talked about before has not given us an issue ever since then it's been holding up pretty well uh, we use this a lot also just to check the tanks. So on the outside, it looks pretty much the same. So we did have a, a nail. I remember about a few months ago, we did have a nail in one of the tires. I took it to the dealer and for them to change it, they were going to charge him like $100 or some, some extraordinary thing. Yeah. We had them put in the spare tire and then we drove with the spare tire. But even just to do the spare tire, they charged him like $100 just to change the tire. Just to change the spare tire to that tire, but not fix anything. It was like $100. So it was a lot. But then I found out when I got home, I took the nail out and there was no issue. Like air didn't, it didn't puncture the actual tire. I, there was no air leakage. So we put that tire back in. So thankfully that happened. I did have that tire insurance, but that's a mission. You know, all these insurance things, they they ask for so much documentation and, and it, 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 was it was on hold forever. For and we we're just like, whatever, you know, let's just see if it works. Let's put the spare tire and go figure it out at home. So that's what we did. Um, these lights, Always worked out very well. We showed him in another video of ours. Um, very light. We got him on Amazon. The awning has been working. I did put silicone in it a few months ago into the rails. The um, awning has some lights up there, a light strip. That's pretty good. All that stuff has been working. Over here, this awning works. Everything's been working pretty well. I did get this for the water, this little elbow, because I wanted to reduce the, the stress on the, on the Airstream. So that's been working out pretty well. It's actually easier to tighten up and to prevent any leakage from here. So that's been, we did get a new power cord because the other power cord, I, I saw that, that where the light here where it connects, there's like a little light bulb. It was like melting around it. And I didn't know if that was the light itself or something issue with the power cord. So I just got a new power cord. This has been working pretty well. Our Airstream experience after about three years, a little over three years, we got this in 2020, September. That whole reason we got it was for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But ever since then, we did another review on hotel versus RV. So we could sell it, right? Our main intention was to sell it. Our main initial thought was to sell it after the pandemic, but we like it now. It is work, as we mentioned in other videos, right? That's one thing you got to take into consideration, but you never know. Right now we're enjoying it. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.